Bulls and Nettles, Trout, Horizon, with the Mayfly, and the sun is shining down on the valley. Hope to be a fly wish to the day that I die. Spring has thawed out the long bitter winter. The water is clear and the skies are blue. I'm standing in the middle of the Beaver Kill River. Might even catch and release one or two. Well, some folks like horses, cats, or dogs. Me, I like fishing with a rod and a fly. Yes, fishing is a favorite time of mine. How you doing? Curtis Mayfly here for Ripples and Waves. Hope you've been enjoying the shows. Uh, I'm not really sure which show this is because we got mixed up on the schedule because of so forth and so so on. That's not your fault. Uh, the banquet was a big success. Uh, it's uh, I'm taping this show and it's it's a week after the banquet so. Um, if you came out to the banquet, I'd like to say thank you for supporting the chapter. If you didn't, you missed a really good time. Uh, in fact, I had a great time. Uh, at the end of the night, I won uh, I won a new fly reel. This is a $200 Orvis reel. I won this, and I won the Timber Creek Rod from Timber Creek uh, Sportsman Shop over in Vessel. And uh, it seems to be a pretty nice deal. Uh, it's a large arbor reel, and it's kind of it's aluminum with a gold finish, and uh, I'm really happy about that. Uh, like I need another reel or rod, but uh, I'll certainly use it. I'll certainly put it to good use on the Beaver Kill and the Delaware, and wherever else I may roam. But again, I want to say uh, that's a nice rod right there. That's a custom-made uh, Timber Creek rod that I want, and uh, I'm very happy about that. I always wanted one of those. But anyway, uh, today's show is, is uh, uh, well, it's, it's about the last week of March, and it's snowing out. So I figured, why not, why not finish off, off this season? We're going to get all the cold weather out. We're going to get everything out that we can um, and get it over with. It's, it's time for summer to start coming. So today I'm going to show a clip uh, of a nice fishing uh, adventure I did with Ted. Uh, the Strike Master who works down at Gander Mountain and Kyle of Gander who also works down there um, and uh, we went out to Balsam no Long Pond out near Smithville Flats and Pet out that way and we went ice fishing and we had a good time we spent about three or four hours out there we we didn't uh, it was our first time trying out his uh, Strike Master four stroke auger so we had a good time doing that and uh, uh, I mean, ice fishing is fun, uh, and I enjoyed it. And uh, but still, uh, ice is for hockey and scotch. Uh, sorry, um, I'd rather be playing hockey. Uh, if I get on ice, I want to go skating. I can't help it, you know. Although I did enjoy ice fishing, and I did catch a couple perch, and I was happy about that. Um, and it is it. it I'm not going to say it's not fun. It's it's a great thing to do in the winter time. 
Uh, it gets you outdoors. Uh, the weather is awesome. I mean, you got snow, you got wind and everything. It, it's just fun to be out in that stuff. Um, and you have to prepare for it. So you have to you have to know what you're doing. You can't just go out in the cold like that and and not freeze your fingers off. So uh, keep that in mind that you, you really need to pay attention to what you're doing when you do go ice fishing and prepare for it. But uh, I, I must say ice fishing is fun and it can also be entertaining. And so I hope you enjoy this clip of uh, um, Kyle of Gander, Ted the Strike Master, and myself fishing at Long Pond. And next week we're going to be uh, covering the Kids Fishing Derby. So I hope you watch today's show and I hope you stick around for next week. I'm going to show a, a bunch of clips from the Kids Fishing Derby last year and, and, and 2001, by the way. And uh, so we hope you uh, uh, keep watching the show and I'll, I'll see you. Uh, this clip takes up most of the show, by the way. So uh, we'll see you next next week. Yeah. See you next week. Until then, keep on fishing in the free world. It's a nice line. So give me your number again. Yeah. Where are those ones going there? The fact is, the Republicans are corrupt, they are crooked, they will take money and they will do anything for a dollar. Yeah. That's why they must be voted out. Yep, thank you, sir. All right, very good. Very good. The congressman here is, is trying to, is doing the same muddying the water thing. He said, you know... It's all under control. Oh, we're on route number two going to Long Pond. Right. Go to Smithville Flats and take a left. And we're there. Hey folks, how you doing? Curtis Mayfly here. I'm out at Long Pond. I'm going to do some ice fishing today with Ted and a, another guy from Gander Mountain. And uh, so uh, let's see how we can do ice fishing on riffles and waves. The Ted, the Ted uh, expedition to Long Pond begins. Wow, not bad. Go for it. We gotta let it run for a little while. Uh, so we're gonna stand here and listen to that. About six minutes. Six minutes. Well, get the get something else ready then. Get some tip ups ready. You gotta look alive, buddy. We're on TV. My hands are getting cold. Wow, that thing is pretty sweet, man. We're going to test the strike, strike Master today here on Riffles and Waves. I forgot your name, though. What's that? What's your name again? Kyle. Kyle, yeah. Jeez. 
I kept calling Leo, Adam, no, I'm not... I knew it was Kyle. Nice job, Ted. Right there. Oh, nice one. My name's Ted, this is Kyle. We're here at Long Pond in Smithville Flats, New York, ice fishing. What I'm going to talk about is how to set up your tip-up. First, what you do is you take your, your line and your hook and you clip one of these weights on. This will tell you where bottom is and what depth you're going to be fishing at. You just clip it on 
and you set it down in your hole until you feel the weight on the bottom. That's bottom right here, so it's quite deep. You grab your line, you count for the thickness of the ice. It's about six to eight inches thick today. And you go up about another foot so that your bait will be a foot off the bottom. Then you grab it and you loop it around so that the next time you set up your hole, you will know what depth to set it at. Then you grab a minnow. We're using medium shiners today, going for pickerel. You take it and you hook it underneath the top fin here so it can swim freely. my loop in the line so I know where to set it. And then you just set it up like this. On to the next hole. I thought I was going to be able to start that thing. I thought you could, you don't even get jerked around by it any. Hey folks, Kurt, Kurt is made by here. My camera's cooking, but that's all right. Uh, first thing you do is you drill your hole and you scoop out the ice. And uh, so we have a nice clean hole here. Hi fish. Anyway, we're gonna follow Ted's, Ted's instructions here and see if I can figure it out. We have our weight on here. Now we're going to release that down until we hit bottom. There we go. Now I'm going to bring it up. That's that's the bottom right there. So I'm going to measure the ice and then add about a foot to that. We're going to put a little loop in here, right? So we have a, a loose, loose little knot in there, and that's yeah, that's right there at the bottom of the hole. That's good. So we're gonna crank our string up here. Then that goes in there, right? Yep. And so it comes through. All right. So we have that set. Now we can bring our line up and put our minnow on there. And we'll have another tip up set up. that easy folks. Put on there fish. So that's on there, right? We're gonna set it on this side. Just like that. Now when a fish takes that, this is gonna flip up. See if we can show that. 
and that's going to release and that's going to show us that we had a fish or a bite bite on that tip up and this piece right here when a fish does bite you'll see it spinning around like this and the easiest way about these tip ups is if you set the hook you just grab here and yank up and then you, you, then you have the a hook. fish on and again you always want to make sure your name's on the tip ups we saw a DEC truck back in Smithville Flats, so we don't want to fool around with the laws. You can use a maximum of five tip-ups and two hand lines, which means jigging poles, so you can have seven lines in the water. Wow. And if you go over that, the fines are quite steep. They're up near $50 a tip-up. Well, we got a lot of minnows, so let's get going. This is a new auger on the market. It's a Strike Master 4 stroke. I basically start it as you turn your switch to on. You, you prime it three or four times until you see the fuel on the line. You put it on start, or because I used it before, you put it on run. And all you do is you pull on it. And that's it. Get it, get it. Well. Nope. Hey, that's the one I set up. I do get one? Oh yeah. Pull that baby up, man. Oh. Nice fish. Not a bad start. No, not at all. Catch and release here on Riffles and Waves. There he goes. Nice fish. That is a dandy perch. It is. That's a nice perch. I can get my auger and jig over here. Yeah. I'm going to put that minnow back down there. Fish Little pickerel. Is it legal or? No. Oh well, sorry, Ted. But you got a tip up. Yeah, first one. I've been looking at rookies catch them first. He goes back into the hole. Go quick, my battery's dying. Alright, another pike, pickerel, or nice one. Cool for you. 
get up in the morning at the break of dawn. Eat a good breakfast, then you're gone. Head to the river where the fishing is good. Place on the willow where Lee will have stood. Sit on a rock, put your waders on. Walk into the water by singing a song. Keep on fishing in the creek. Keep on fishing in the free world. Gas to riffle that's in the shade. in the fly that I just made cast to the riffle with no lock there so I try in an eddy with mayflies on the air cedar wax wings in the trees feeding on mayflies on the breeze keep on fishing in the free world Keep on fishing in the free world The trout start rising In the pool the water is clean and the water is cool with a green drake I cast to a ride the trout takes the fly to my surprise the ride is tight and the ride is bent and after a while the trout's in the net keep on fishing in the free world Fishing in the free world With some care The trout is released he swims away with gentle ease. I look around, there's beauty everywhere. It'll be here forever, kids, if we take care. So keep it clean, kids, and don't pollute. Someday your kids are going to fish here, too. Keep on fishing in the free world. You gotta see this. First Nelson. What? I came home and told you that very thing, but you didn't see me, so never mind. I did too. You did not. I did too.